This video shows you how to replace the defective battery on your watch. If you've got a watch repair toolkit, it's fine, but we're just going to use basic tools, okay? So I will start by taking off one of the links from the clips here, you know, so that I can get, you know, unrestricted access to the battery. You can use a pin or, you know, one of them tiny screw bits that come in your mobile tool repair kit, okay? So basically getting the needle or the um, screw bit in there, you know, and taking care not to um, scratch your watch. Using either is fine. So I'd use the screw a bit, you know, to put to push the link downwards, then, you know, slide it out. OK, once you get the link out, make sure you keep it in a, in a safe place. Make sure you don't misplace it because you will be, you know, coupling back the watch um, with the link. OK, or the bracelet clip. And as you can see, I'm getting the link out, okay, from the aperture from that hole. Then you know, you know, keep it safely. Make sure I don't throw it in the bin or something, okay. And now I've got access to the back of the um, of the watch, you know, unrestricted access, I, without you know any impediment of the um, bracelet. Whilst I'm trying to get the cover off, and if you look closely, you can see that there is a raised section, you know, on the back of the of the watch, okay. So I'll get my standing knife in there because it's quite thin, and that would just um, glide right between, you know, the back cover and the the housing of the outer housing of the um, of the of the back of the watch. And straight away, you can see the defective battery, you know, embedded or stuck in its position in situ. And the battery is kept in position, you know, with the bracket and itself spring forth retracting lever. The caveat or the model on the defective battery and the new battery are about the same. So um, take cognizance when you're getting a, an aftermarket battery, okay? So I will push the spring against the lever to get the battery from un from underneath the um, bracket and that's the battery there. And sometimes you get the same caveat or the same model on both batteries, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's genuine, okay? So it's a bit of a hit, hit or miss when you're getting aftermarket ba battery. So read the reviews and see um, what, you know, the feedback from prospective um, customers are. Better still get it directly from the supplier or, you know, a rated A supplier, okay? So the next step of the process would be to get the battery out, you know, from its enclosure and then subsequently stick it in into the position where we took out the defective battery from. And so, you know, spend a little bit more to get, you know, more shelf life out of your batteries. You know, if you find a genuine one, as opposed to them cheap ones that do not last OK. But, you know, I'm quite happy with um, swapping, you know, this new battery with the defective one. If you install the new battery in, you know, press fit, you know, without, you know, adequately uh, pushing the lever, you wouldn't be able to get it, get it into the battery slot, okay? The way to do it is to slide it first underneath the bracket on the other side, okay? So slide it underneath, you know, the bracket on the other side, get your pin or your um, screw bit, and, and whilst moving the lever away from the battery, press fit the battery down. And that's your battery installed. You know, the next step of the process would be to install or attach, you know, the back cover back onto the watch. And, you know, install it somewhere between, you know, the 12 and the 3 o'clock position, you know, just slightly after the crown and the pusher. And so that the next time that you want to get the back cover off is relatively easier. Where you've got more room and access to get the cover off. You know, press the back cover down, you should hear an audible click, you know, which indicates that, you know, your um, back cover has been fully inserted. And so the next step would be to install the links that we salvaged previously. So get the link back, you know, slide it through one of them holes, make sure that it's sat, you know, at the floor position first, then, you know, install it at the other end of the of the slot. And, you know, like I said, you know, make sure that it sits on one side of the strap first, you know, so the, the first bit, you know, sits on this end. And once the link, you know, it has been slotted into the hole, we can proceed to fit the other, the other link into the other slot. And, you know, with the aid of your screw bit, you know, push the other end of your link, which is like sat on a spring. So it retracts, you know, backwards, you know, into that groove. Then slide it underneath, you know, the slot so that it, you know, it sort of like springs back forth and, you know, glides back into its original position in situ. So it glides back into that slotted position, you know, at the other end of the of the strap. 
if it doesn't get into the groove right away, use your screw bit, okay? Or, you know, just kind of like use your hand to, to feel the um, link slide into the slot, okay? And you can see it's it's in the slot and it's, it's a sturdy connection that it's made, okay? And, you know, as with, you know, fitting any new ba battery, you know, the next step of the process would be to set the timer, you know, on your watch. You know, a clock is right twice, twice a day. And, you know, um, you set your time, but you also need to set your date. And because it's right twice, twice a day, you need to make two revolution turns, okay? And so, basically, your home timer hits, you know, the 12 mark twice a day to, to reach 24 hours. And after 24 hours, your date goes one step up, up its calendar so make sure you put your tools away you know any sharp objects that you've got make sure you you keep it away um especially if you've got kids moving around your property and like i said two 360 degree turns or two revolutions past the 12 mark you know pushes your calendar forward by one day and once you've got your battery working and you've set the time on the day you're 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 good to go um yeah and that's about it really um, if you found the information useful, don't forget to subscribe, like and share, help the channel grow and hopefully catch up with you later. Goodbye.